Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating three possible ways to fix a corrupted SD card, USB stick, external hard drive, or some other storage devices you use on your PC, mobile phones, or tablets. These three methods correspond to three of the most common scenarios of this issue. Before we get to these fixes, I will quickly demonstrate the typical signs of this problem using these three storage devices. The case of this key side USB stick is that when I connect it to my USB port, I get the regular device connect sound showing it's recognized by the PC and then a message pops up saying there's a problem with this drive, scan the drive now and fix it. As you can see, the drive name is a bunch of strange characters and when I go to open this drive in my computer folder, I see a collection of strange files and folders and double clicking on any one of them pops this error message saying the location is not available. The file directly name or volume label syntax is incorrect. The second case is with this Western Digital 320GB hard drive. What happens is when I connect it to my PC using this SATA adapter, I get the regular device connect sound but nothing shows up in my computer folder. A similar case is for the USB device to show up and then a message pops up saying the directory name is invalid or please insert disk into USB drive or another message saying you need to format the disk drive before you can use it. And here, if I choose to go ahead with the formatting, it says Windows can't format the drive or unable to format the selected device. Alternatively, if I choose to go through my computer folder, I see an inaccessible USB device and when I double click to open, it gives similar error message saying, please insert a disk into the USB drive. Also, if I try to format the device by right clicking and selecting format from the options, it says Windows was unable to complete the format. For the case of the mobile phones, you may get an error message saying unsupported SD card or your SD card cannot be accessed or some other similar kind of card error messages. I also have this other scenario with an SD card which has been partitioned using some tool or device and when I connect it to my PC, it shows up as two separate volumes with different drive letters in my computer folder. One accessible volume and another inaccessible volume. Unfortunately, the accessible volume is just a small fraction of the actual disk. It's 16 GB micro SD card and here you can see the accessible volume is only about 42 MB. So you have just about the entire drive inaccessible. However, you may have some data on the accessible volume you don't want to lose. So formatting entirely might not be the best option. So these are the typical signs of corrupt storage devices. However, these signs could also mean that your SD card or your USB stick has some other major problems that might require replacing such SD card or USB stick. But before you settle for a new storage drive, I recommend you try the three fixes I'll be demonstrating in this video to see if any of them can solve your problem. The first method will enable you to recover your files if you have some files you want to recover from the storage drive. While the second and third methods will remove all files and partitions in the corrupted volumes, clean up the device and get it ready for use again. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first method will be to use the check disk tool to run disk check on the corrupted drive. This is a free tool that comes bundled with your Windows operating system, so you can simply run it from the command line terminal. The check this tool basically checks the integrity of your disks and repairs any error if it finds. Before you run the check this tool, it is important that you ensure that the targeted disk is not in use by any application at the same time. Maybe you've been trying other fixes on this disk already or you were previously accessing file from the disk before it got corrupted. In that case, you should eject and remove the storage media, then connect it back before running the check disk tool. Of course, there is an extension to the check disk command that forces the volume to disconnect first if necessary. But then if the drive is readily accessible, then it might be better to simply remove and reconnect it back again. And if your SD card is in a mobile device like phones or tablets, then use the appropriate tool to remove it from the slot and attach it to your PC using a card reader or some other compatible adapter. With the storage media connected, go to your Windows search and type CMD. Then right click on the command prompt app from the search result and choose run as administrator. Hit yes on the user account control. And then you should see a black terminal like this. Here type in the command chkdsk space forward slash x space forward slash f space 
then the drive letter of the corrupted drive. In my case, it's letter D. Here you need to replace the letter D with your own drive letter. To verify your drive letter, simply go to your computer folder and check the drive letter that is assigned to the drive you are trying to fix. As you can see here, mine is letter D. So replace the letter D in this command with the letter of the corrupted drive you attached to your PC. Then type in column and hit enter. It will then run a disk verification. After the verification, it asks if you want to convert lost chains to files. Here type in Y which stands for yes and then hit enter. Now the moment the lost chains are converted, you will notice that the strange characters will disappear and the drive name will change back to normal again. Here on the command line, it says Windows has made corrections to the file system. No further action is required and now you should be able to access your files and folders again. If this method didn't work for you, then proceed with the other fixes in the rest of the video. The second method, like I mentioned earlier, will delete all files and partitions in the corrupted volumes, clean up the device and get it ready for use again. Please, you should ensure you don't need any files from this corrupted drive before proceeding with this fix. So first, disconnect the corrupted drive. Then go to your search and type D-I-S-K P-A-R-T and then click on this part from the search results. Click yes on the user account control and then you should see the disk part terminal. Here type in list space disk as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then you will see a list of all the disks you currently have attached to your PC. Usually your main hard drive where you have your operating system is disk zero and you don't want to tamper with that. If you have some other storage devices attached to your PC, they will be labeled numerically beginning with 1. So here I have this 28GB USB stick as disk 1. So subsequent disks will be assigned other disk numbers. So now that I know the disks that are already connected to my PC, I will connect the corrupted disk and run the list disk command again. Now we have another disk with a disk number 2. That is the corrupted WD320 gig hard drive which I just connected. Also, the sizes here should be approximately the sizes of the corresponding disks. Now type select disk 2, where 2 is the disk number of the corrupted drive, and hit enter. It then tells me this 2 is now the selected disk. Here type clean and hit enter. Wait for the process to complete. As you can see, when it's completed, it says here that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Now after this, close the disk part terminal, then go to your search and type create and format disk partitions. Click on the corresponding search result and then you should see the disk management page. Here it says you must initialize this tool before the disk management tool can access it. Here click OK. Then you can expand the page to show all the disks currently attached to your PC. Or you can also scroll down to check for the unallocated disks. Here you can see the corrupted disk as unallocated. Right click on it and choose new simple volume from the options. That should open up the new simple volume wizard. Now in running this wizard you can choose to change the options to suit your needs. But usually I just leave all the options as default and keep clicking next until I see finish. And then wait for the formatting process to complete. As soon as the formatting is completed, it will say healthy primary partition here. Then your drive should appear in your computer folder as an empty drive with all volumes available, meaning your drive is ready for use again.
The third method is a bit of different scenario. Here you have a partition of the storage drive accessible and another partition that is not accessible. To fix that, go again to your disk management tool. Then locate the corrupted disk from the listed disks. Here, as you can see, unlike in the computer folder where different volumes have different volume letters, here they both combine into one disk and one letter. However, you can see that they are two separate partitions. So to reclaim back the inaccessible partition of the drive, simply right click on the partition and then select delete volume. Then it says that the selected partition was not created by Windows and might contain data created by some other operating system. Do you want to delete this partition? Here I will hit yes and then wait for the process to complete. After a little while, the partition now changes to unallocated. Again, here I will right click on it and choose new simple volume. Then run the wizard with the default options like in the previous fix. And after the formatting, the hidden inaccessible volume will become visible again and appear in the computer folder. So with that, I'm able to have the two volumes active and available again without losing the data I have in the initial volume. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Leave us a like if you found this video useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.